This man of God, Bishop Deed, has been arrested and he is currently in Krikri cooling off. Why I'm making this video is because a lot of people have come out on the media and the social media to say that this man was arrested because of the prophecy he gave about the presidential election. No, I have said it before. I am not an advocate of using prophecy to install a president. I said it before. I know election is a physical exercise which requires critical assessment of candidates based on their capacity, track record and competence. Therefore, I am not an advocate of that. This, however, does not change my earlier position that Peter Obi remains the most competent of all the politicians in the Nigeria of today and he will uphold free speech and give a voice to the voiceless. But that is not the reason I'm making this video. The reason I'm making this video is that this bishop was arrested on an alleged rape case. How? Only God knows. People are saying that his arrest is not because of the rape case but because of the prophecy he gave. How? my dear brother in the christ my only god knows whether you are guilty of what you are being charged and alleged of i do not know but i pray for you if you are innocent of what you are being accused of may heaven fight for you that you may regain your freedom i pray for you with malachi chapter 3 verse 11 may the lord arise and devour the devourers of your life i pray for you with psalm 68 verse 1 may the lord arise that the enemies of your life may be scattered but if you are guilty of what you are charged let the full weight of the law take its course let the law take its course i have told you people I am an advocate of good governance, rule of law, free speech, and using public money for the public good of the people. I am not an advocate of violence, neither am I an advocate of crime. May God continue to bless you as you share this video. With reactions trailing the arrest of Bishop Daniel Oluwafe Iropo, founder of Iron Christian Ministry, for allegedly raping two of his church members on Monday, the bishop was remanded in Kirikiri Correctional Center by Justice Ramon Ushuri of an Ikeja Sexual Offenses and Domestic Violence Court. The clergyman pled not guilty and his counsel requested bail, which was granted by the court in the sum of 20 million naira with two sureties. The judge also ordered the defendant to deposit his international passport with the chief register of the court after prosecution argued that he was a flight risk. The pastor came into limelight after predicting during one of his sermons that Nigeria's president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, will not be sworn in as president of Nigeria on May 29th, but instead will be arrested on Inauguration Day. How will this revolution start? Hear me? How will the revolution start? Somehow, the information will spill out that the election was rigged. And the youth will get to the street. It will just be Lagos. It will be almost every state of Nigeria. The youth will get to the street. And they will start the protest. This protest will be, will lead to a revolution. But that will be, you go to court. You go to court. And the day for swearing in to Nubu will come. sworn in that name and everybody that has said he's the next president will be rejoicing i'm saying yes i told you and why that event looks like a very open ground like a stadium like center you know i'm, I'm telling you what we have on so uh, posted a video where he stated that during a church service that the allegations against him were untrue and were politically motivated. I know for sure that all the attacks against me are politically motivated and the goal is to discredit my voice as a prophet because I took a stand 